What's up, little buddy? Got your bed. Oh, he got away. <laughs> he, he flew up on top of the lights. Oh, man. The grasshopper got away. Hey, sometimes you think you got him. I was about to say, got you, bitch. And he was like, I'm out. That's how you got to escape. Now let's work on it. Castle's gonna get me an arm bar. And then I use this defense. Um, obviously we know we have to be aware. Um, first, let me talk about, remember the, the legs. If, if the leg, the, the head leg is on top of the chest leg, here's one of the reasons why. You see how his legs are that like that? I can start to push and get my head through. If his chest leg is over his head leg, you feel that, Cass? Mm -hmm. Keep that kind of tight. Mm -hmm. Look at how I uh, pull your heels in. To your, yeah, like that. No, I'm gonna push your leg, don't let me. Uh, you see that? Like, you're not even moving. Oh, I can't do it. But when you switch that left leg on top, or if a guy's uncrossed, he also might be uncrossed. The, the reason why this is bad, you see how like my hand here behind his leg? I roll it to like a deltoid press, press like I'm pushing, and I push that leg off. Even if his left leg is on top, he's locked, it's more possible that that will happen. And then now I let go and I make sure I get my head to pop up through the hole. And then also this hand, I wanna make sure that, let's see where my hand was. I pushed it, now look. I'm like holding it so it can never come back. So I don't want it to, to go right back over my head. Go ahead, go back over my head. And then I lose, right? He'll get my arm. So once we push it off and he's trying to put it over my head, I'm holding it like really, really tight here. Okay, I'm, I'm gripping it, um, holding it behind my head. He's gonna be going for the arm bar. He's probably gonna go for an arm bar, triangle combo. And you're basically gonna go like this. You're gonna bridge and get your head to the mat. And then once you're here, like he has nice tight thighs right now, I'll pull at this knee, I'll get my back to come through. And then once I'm here, I'm leaning towards my right on his thigh, so it's hard for him to get up. And then it's gonna be a race to the top. And certainly, sometimes this guy wins the race. If I wanna win this race, what I wanna do is, I don't wanna get up like this and take the weight off. If I take the weight off his thigh and I hurry, I might get it, but he also might get on his elbow. And you, now you see what's happening. We're, we're in this race to get on top and he's more likely to win than me. It is possible I could hip heist and maybe I'll win and then he'll hip heist and he'll win. So when you guys are here, you wanna win this battle. What I do is I lay on his leg, okay? And my elbows to the mat. So this was the arm bar, right? Mm -hmm. My elbow goes to the mat. And then I walk my legs away as I turn belly down. Mm. And the reason why I do it like that is so that if Cass get up on your elbow and I'll start to get up. See what I did to your hips? Mm. So what I, if, if I just use, you're either gonna have to use speed and explosiveness and just be like, oh, and just get up. Or you can use a little more Technique, go ahead, lay back on your back. I get on board, okay? I was here, I don't wanna wait forever. He's gonna separate my grip. I push and bridge over. As I'm getting through here, I'm turning. There's weight on him. As I turn my, my legs, I hip heist this way and turn down. Some people might go, oh, can we get a Kimura? Teach me grappling, what's up guys? 
Coach Brian here, and I'm here to tell you about Suplez. Guys, the best dummies in the world for training. You wanna get good at throws, like Jesse, you need a Suplez speed dummy. You gotta get one for yourself. Go to petersongrapplers.com and get your own speed dummy. You know, my elbows are in, I'm not that worried about it. Or that Kimura. I'm just laying on him. Now I'm gonna push pressure as I drive forward and I'm gonna pass that guard, okay? Just like that. So I'd like you guys to try this one. Again, it doesn't have to come from this either. You know, some guys do it with a lock. It might be locked like this, and then they'll, they'll push the leg off the head and bridge through. See, I didn't even have to grab his leg on that particular one. And now as the guy's pulling on my arm, he's trying to hyperextend your elbow. It's really hard to finish. And then now once I'm here, I'm turning belly down, but I'm real co uh, uh, cognizant of keeping my, my weight on his leg. See that Kimura he's looking for? I just turn my thumb, elbow in, and then I drive forward and get my elbow out of there. I just turn my uh, supinate, pronate. You want to supinate, you guys can't get you in a Kimura. So this is a good defense. If you guys uh, end up in any kind of arm bar, I'm here, the guy goes for the arm bar. And, and you know, you, you don't want to fall. I don't want to even go to this bat position being on my back. But if you guys are here, some people will already be like this. And you'll be like, oh no. And you'll just push this leg off. You know, you get a good grip on the ankle. Could look like this. The guy's trying to finish your elbow right here and you get your head over it. Now he's about to pop my elbow, right? He's trying to get that lock. I bridge, that adds, that gives me a lot. Okay, so he's hyperextend, hyperextend. Yeah, I'm bridging, getting over the top of it. Now here comes the race to the top. Again, instead of getting up, where if he gets up, he's gonna win. I lay on his leg and I walk away while on his leg as I turn belly down. And then of course, I'm not gonna stay here. Now the guy tries to move and get up or whatever. I'll get up and now we're, we're back in position on top. Okay, I know it looks funny. It looks like I'm, I'm putting myself in a worse position, but you're learning how to use your body weight to trap his leg, okay? All right, let's try it, ready? Okay, um, lots of variation there on armbar defense. Uh, getting the leg off your head, bridging, coming through, coming through that armbar and almost turning it into a guard position. Solid escape. Um, not seeing all that much, but still a solid escape. You'll see it from time to time. And uh, you guys should know it. Everybody should practice it. Of course, there's gonna be counters. There's always gonna be people in uh, knowing different ways to, to deal with problems. Um, you know, keep those legs locked properly, chest leg over head leg most of the time. Again, there's always gonna be a scenario where the elbow's already popped and it doesn't matter how you lock your legs, but um, follow, follow the basic rules that I, that I give you guys and you're gonna be much better off. Chest leg over head leg on your arm bar lock and then uh, leg control, that's a good one. Having leg control will shut down quite a bit of defense. Um, elbows deep through the loop. Don't be grabbing arms and pulling straight. That's not good. So it's gonna always leave. If you make too many of these holes in your game, it's gonna make for escapes, for, for, for people that know the escapes. So either way, we gotta know both sides of the coin. I love it all. Hope you do too. Like, share, subscribe, comment down below. And I'll see you guys next time with more great stuff. Thank you.